Now, Donald Trump announced he's running for president recently and gave a ridiculous and pompous speech. In it, he mentioned uh, the crowds there. You're going to love this story. But I want to remind you of what he said at the time. Watch. Wow. Whoa. That is some group of people, thousands. So nice. Thank you very much. That's really nice. Thank you. This is beyond anybody's expectations. There's been no crowd like this. And I can tell you, some of the candidates they went in, they didn't know the air conditioner didn't work. They sweated like dogs. They didn't know the room was too big because they didn't have anybody there. How are they going to beat ISIS? <laughs> See, if you get a big crowd to show up that's enthusiastic about you, that's how you'll beat ISIS. Some candidates, remember this, had uh, events where nobody showed up. Remember that for the end, okay? So, but th uh, Donald Trump doesn't have to worry about that. Thousands of people showed up. Reporters on the scene said, no, they didn't. There weren't thousands of people. Uh, but there were some people. And who were those people? Now, here comes the fun part. Well, some started putting pictures up in social media. So these uh, two folks in their Trump T-shirts uh, put up their pictures. And then uh, Angelo uh, Carzone, who works for Media Matters, goes, wait a minute, now I recognize that guy. That guy's a paid actor. He does a little bit of research and finds out the woman next to him also a paid actor. Hmm, that's weird. That's, well, but you know what? Sometimes actors uh, support uh, political candidates and they go to rallies. That's no big deal, right? Well, here's where it gets interesting. Then the Hollywood Reporter steps in and does some investigation here, finds out that um, acting uh, recruiters called Extra Mile uh, NYC, these are people who recruit actors for different projects, television shows, movies, etc., in New York City, uh, sent out this notice before the rally. This is an event in support of Donald Trump and an upcoming exciting announcement he will be making at this event. This event is called People for a Stronger America. The entire group is a pro-small business group that is dedicated to encouraging Donald Trump and his latest ventures. He, he bragged that he had $9 billion during that rally. Small business? Uh, I don't know about that. Anyway, but uh, let's continue in this announcement. This is an ad. They're saying, actors, please come. This is the event that you'll be attending. We understand this is not a traditional background job. That's what uh, extras are called, background actors. But we believe acting comes in all forms, and this is inclusive of that school of thought. And at the end, they explain the rate for this is $50 cash capitalized at the end of the event. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. You had to pay people to pretend to be excited about you. You're really one of the saddest Americans I've ever seen in my life, man. Oh, uh, look at these thousands of people. They are so excited. And there's air conditioning here. I had to pay all of them to show up because I'm actually a pompous jackass no one really likes. Hey, look at all of you. How did you go wind up here? All right, everybody stick around. I'm going to give you 50 bucks a piece afterwards. Loser. Total and utter loser. Maybe this is how he went bankrupt so many times. So uh, his campaign manager uh, was asked about this. They had this hilarious response. Mr. Trump draws record crowds at almost every venue at which he is a featured speaker. The crowds are large, often record-setting and enthusiastic, often with standing ovations. Mr. Trump's message is, make America great again. <laughs> I love how they say, he often draws large crowds. I mean, he didn't in this case, we had to pay them. <laughs> now, is it true uh, that he often draws large crowds? Well, what he might have been trying to avoid is what happened to Donald Trump when he spoke at CPAC and a reporter took this picture. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, well, that's what happens when Donald Trump doesn't pay people to show up to his speeches. Class A loser. This guy is the ultimate clown, not just of American politics, but really, he's, the, he's our, the new Ronald McDonald. I mean, the guy, and, and I'm doing Ron McDonald a disservice here because at least he has delicious burgers, one could argue. Okay, but this guy is the face of American buffoonishness to the rest of the world. He thinks his brand is rich. No, his brand, uh, brand is a circus, a stupid, silly, annoying circus. He, he, look at this buffoon.
loser. 